Jordan today is a land of tension. The frequent clashes between Israelis and Arabs on their borderlines threaten to develop into open conflict. The Arab Legion's chief of the General Pasha, nearest the camera, an Englishman who served with distinction in the two world wars. The monarch he now serves is King Hussein, who is 20 years old. King Hussein, who was educated at Harrow and received military training at Sandhurst, is on a tour of some of his country's danger spots with Major Grubb. With a full bodyguard, he prepares to continue his inspection. The area in dispute between the Arabs and the Israelis lies to the west of the River Jordan. Far from the troubled frontiers, about 20 miles from Amman, is Kirka, and here the great annual parade by the Arab Legion is held. Some 6,000 people, including military missions of Arab and ally countries and their diplomatic corps, watch the parade march past the royal dais, where the young king takes the salute for the second time in his reign. In the center of the parade of armored vehicles, a hawk is carried. This is the corps' traditional mask. The Arab Legion numbers about 20,000 men. This is but a fraction of the troops available to the Israeli army. Consequently, Jordan would need help from her allies should any border incident touch off a war between the two countries. It seems likely that Jordan would turn to Britain first for such help. During the parade, our country is thanked by the king for her assistance in building up Jordan's present army.